Ripple isn't trying to compete with currencies. It's designing the framework that currencies may eventually rely on. Right now, most people still watch XRP like a chart. But the institutions studying it are watching it like infrastructure. The path toward legal tender status isn't hype, it's system logic. Once clarity frameworks and ETF structures finalize, XRP shifts from speculation into regulated settlement architecture. That turns it into a functional liquidity instrument rather than just a coin. Governments under pressure don't chase hype. They adopt rails that solve time and cost. XRP enables instant, low-cost settlement and is already plugged into banks, market hubs, and cross-border systems. When even one jurisdiction uses XRP to settle official payments, it becomes legal tender for that function. But it goes deeper. Smaller nations won't build full CBDC infrastructure. They'll adopt synthetic models powered by XRPL. That makes XRP the technical and liquidity backbone beneath their digitized currencies. Commodity exporters and emerging economies will eventually prefer neutral settlement assets that cannot be restricted. That makes XRP attractive because it isn't controlled by any single country, and settlement is nearly instant. Meanwhile, Ripple's RLUSD, Prime Platform, and Institutional Liquidity Stack are forming the operational layer banks will use to move value. Tokenization, FX handling, identity-based access. The system is being built not on top of XRP, but with XRP inside the architecture. When the settlement rails are in place, reserve status doesn't happen by announcement. It happens because holding XRP becomes necessary to participate. Global reserve assets all share the same four properties. Neutral, liquid, trusted, settlement ready. XRP meets all four. So when banks, sovereign funds, and central institutions begin holding it as a hedge against currency volatility and liquidity timing, the transformation is already in motion. Crypto Chrome has been tracking the shift because the future banking system won't be powered by the loudest asset. It will be powered by the one engineered to hold under pressure. And when architecture starts moving quietly, that's usually the moment everyone looks at the price instead of the system. But the story was never about the chart. It was always about what settles underneath it.